What is the tastiest rock you've had? Hi hi, it's Luna, aka your local kobold. Hello there! Hello to Sion Liz. Congratulations on being your first Liz and thank you for your wisdom. The tastiest rock I've ever had. Um I'm gonna have to go with Uh Brighton Rock. There we go. That's the tastiest rock I've ever had. <laughs> Anyone ever been on holiday to Brighton and got us some uh, uh, rock from the rock shop along the beach? <laughs> Big recommend. <laughs> I'm on the way of a screen, by the way. I should probably move. <laughs> As you can probably notice, uh, we don't have Koroks anymore. We have... If, if my hands would cooperate... My hands are not cooperating. We have Chow. <laughs> yes, you know exactly what I'm talking about, Liz. <laughs> Yeah, ciao a heckin' cool. In the UK? Yeah, in the UK. Because apparently there's a brighter in America, as I found out not that long ago. Um, <laughs> the amount of places in America that literally just happened, they were uh, somewhere, somewhere in the UK. It's in America for some reason. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to be playing uh, Rogue Frontiers. Um, <laughs> With our like favorite uh, Sonic the Hedgehog character, Rogue, who needs to go and save their friends from being trapped in the cyberspace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need to go and search for friends. Uh, so somewhere over here, we should have a thing. You're a filthy American. <laughs> New. Also, I got a physics tweak mod. I don't know if you can tell how like tight that is, but look at that motion. It's heckin' good. Like compared to last stream where I was like struggling to do circles and stuff, I could just like noon. What the heck is that flickering on screen occasionally though? That's interesting. Is that like oh it's sonic waves coming off of me from doing boosts? Okay, I know what that is now. That's weird. Um yeah, let's say hi to Knuckles. Knuckles? What are you doing here? Never mind. I'll get you out. Rogue's voice sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the rogue I'm used to. Hang tight, Nux. Be back in a flash. <laughs> I'm just being followed by this chow. And Loba. Oh jeez. And bonk. Okay, so we need to go and do a bunch of challenges to get some of these medals. I know how to wall climb, I don't need a tutorial, thank you game. Uh... <laughs> oh, I missed the spring. Oh, jeez. Harry energy boats. Okay, I didn't mean to be here, but I guess we're here now. Ads? Oh no! <laughs> We only just started! Why are there ads? There shouldn't be ads this early in the thing. They're supposed to start after 20 minutes. I'll take that though, and you guys. You're my friends now. <laughs> can I climb this? Nope, but I can get on that. Oh. Didn't work out as I expected. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. Ow. Ow. Toy fed. Oh, we're back from ads. I have no idea why an ad started this early in the stream. They're set to like wait uh, 20 minutes before like going. But apparently the. Which fourth now was an appropriate time for adverts. Why is Sonic a bat? What do you mean? This is Rogue the Bat. She's the main character of Rogue Frontiers. <laughs> this has always been the case. <laughs> Heck. How do I get up there? There we go. 
still getting used to this uh, momentum mod. Like, I love this momentum mod, but it is taking some getting used to with the new controls, because everything's so much tighter, and I'm used to having to, like, uh, compensate for, like, not tight uh, turning and stuff. It feels so heckin' good. Uh, what is in up here? Weird that uh, Rogue can't climb. I'm used to her climbing in games, but I guess in this one they chose not to allow her to climb for some reason. Uh, what kind of fucking alternative reality did I wake up to? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, heck. <laughs> <laughs> and get rid of this thing and phantom rush the phantom rush in this game feels so heckin good <laughs> Like, legit, one of my favourite parts about the combat in this game is Phantom Rush. Like, it's difficult to pull off, and I wish it was, like, slightly easy to get to work, but... You woke up 15 minutes ago, <laughs> don't do this to me. Sorry, Toosie. <laughs> oh, there's a medal over there. I think this might be the last medal we need, maybe? And then we can start progressing, right? No. Not right. Ew. I missed the thing. Also, I haven't heard that sound effect in a Sonic game in a long time. That button made the same sound effect that plays when you enter a... Uh, I don't know, remember if it or plays when you enter a level in Sonic Adventure 2, but it definitely uh, played when you entered the Chow Garden. But yeah, it was definitely on all of the levels. All of the levels, if you entered uh, the, uh, the loading screen, played that sound effect. I have so much nostalgia for that really specific sound effect. Heck, I fell down. Like, it's kind of cool how much of this game is nostalgia pandering. Like, I know usually nostalgia pandering is like a bad thing in games, but like this game, they managed to like cater to the Sonic Colors fans, the Sonic Adventure fans. Uh, like, fans of, like, the, uh, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog games, like, it's so many, like, features and, like, mechanics and stuff pulled over from other games, like, sound effects and stuff. I love it. Oh, I almost fell off again. <laughs> oh, no, I missed. It's fine, I think we got this anyway. Yeah, okay. We just missed that, it's fine. Oh. Not falling off of these small platforms is legitimately really difficult. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not enough Knuckles memory tokens. How many more do we need? We needed three. We have 27. We need 30? I swear we picked up more. Also, these things are really heckin' cool. This boss right here. The shark. It took me a while to figure out how to do these, but I bumped into one of these on my single player campaign. And I don't know, it's really cool. <laughs> like, you just ride it. <laughs> Sonic has always been really uh, weird about platforming. Go fast and be careful with precision. Uh, don't really mesh well unless done carefully. Yeah. Like, you can get good at it, but it's never really... Uh, also, uh, it's never really gone the uh, balance between making that easy to do and making it challenging as well. Something could be easy to do and challenging at the same time. Uh, just depends on like, uh, like making the platforming interesting, but then also uh, making it so it's uh, easy to navigate. Heck, no! I fell off. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> You're supposed to homing attack there. We had our attack window and I missed it. We gotta do that again. Oh. 
Okay, so like most of this is just like quick time events, but oh. Uh, hip shock in low Naruto. Also, I just realized it was Jade who said that. Hello, Jade. Welcome to the chat. No, I did it again. I pressed jump instead of homing attack. I might be stupid. That hurt me? I mean, of course that hurt me, but I wasn't expecting that to hurt me. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Because uh, if I kill this, it might drop some memory tokens, and we kind of need those. Uh... Hoi! Oh! Didn't expect it to do the same direction twice. No, I did it again. You know what? Screw this boss, we'll do it later. <laughs> mm. Oh no, is it going to lock us in the boss fight? We're locked in the boss fight. Wait, no. Oh, I got out the boss fight. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to do the same thing that we had with the squid boss at one time, where like it got stuck in the boss fight and I couldn't get back onto the platform to kill it. <laughs> yeah, I'm Rogue. I'm the main character of Rogue uh, Frontiers, Rogue the Bat. <laughs> Okay, there's one more. So we need two more of those and then we're good and we can save uh, Knuckles. Also, this thing is a really cool boss. It doesn't look like a boss, but that is definitely a boss. Uh, we're going to fight that as soon as I get that thing up there. Because, uh, like, saving these chow. Uh, also, yes, they are definitely Chow and not Koroks or Cocos, but I've been re their skin uh, is important because <laughs> those stat boosts. I have to go do Heckin' Capitalism, but wonderful. I hope you have a delightful day. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Looks like he was planning a full invasion. So, where is he? Uh... Oh. Yes, perfect. We got all the things we need. Now I could save Knuckles, but this boss is way too cool to just leave here. No you. <laughs> what do you mean no you two Z? You're both cute. <laughs> like reverse insult simulator. Wait, I fell off? Excuse me? How did I fall off? How the heck did that happen? Okay, let's do this one for a bit. Then... Switch. Like we have to make these fully blue. And the annoying part is, now we've missed bits, it's going to be slightly awkward to get those again. Okay, there's two. Please don't put it on this one. It put it on that one. But it's fine because we get to fight it now. Just gotta do that like one more time and then we're good. Uh, the thing is we're now on phase three. Because, uh, like, phase two is after you hit it the first time, and phase three is after it gets under a certain HP threshold. And we're now on that HP threshold. Okay, I'm gonna get in front of. and fall off! <laughs> okay, we've got the outer ring done at least. That's fine. Okay. And swap to this one and hopefully it doesn't shoot on this one too much oh heck okay we didn't get hit that's fine oh no okay zero rings i can do this on zero rings i can absolutely do this on zero rings don't believe me 
I jumped that. <laughs> oh, I pressed jump, but it didn't jump big enough. This is fine. Let's try this again. <laughs> like, the desert does have, like, a small difficulty spike, and I'm actually really okay with that, because, not gonna lie, the first area was really easy, but it was the first area. Hello, Buck! Koi hoi! How are you doing? Hello! Okay, so we have laser on this side. Uh, are you gonna put a laser on this one now? absolutely are, but I am no longer needing to be on that one, so, uh, screw you. <laughs> Wait, we don't have to be dashing here? Oh, that changes everything! I thought you had to dash to get it to work on that one. Glad you're doing okay. Okay. Okay, not quite lethal, but close enough. Yeah, up here, and I'm gonna be extra careful this time around because I didn't realize I couldn't do this slowly. I thought you had to dash over these things. I was making it way more difficult than it needed to be. Ow! That fired directly on my face. Oh heck! Is this fine? Absolutely fine. Um, let's get some rings. Hopefully it doesn't shoot you whilst you're down here. I don't think it does. Yeah, I'm just gonna get like a few rings here just to keep us alive a bit better. Oh! And we now have infinite boosting as well which is like hella important. Oh wait, that thing can hop onto different... Oh, okay. Okay, I fell off, like, realising what was happening there. I didn't realise the purple ones could change which lane they were on. I don't think they were doing that beforehand, but then again, my single-player campaign, I'm playing on normal mode, and I'm playing on hard mode on uh, streamer uh, save. Okay, so we got one of these. Oh, jeez. It swapped the lane right there. Okay, that's fine. Uh... <laughs> We're almost there. We just gotta do like one more instance of damage and a tiny bit more on that ring. And we also happen to be in the right place to do it. Nope, I missed it. Never mind. Right, that's going to hit me if I don't jump. And I've fallen off. This is difficult. <laughs> Apparently staying on a ring is difficult. Uh... Alright, so we need to go on to this light. There we go! Toy effect. Such a weird and really cool design. It's like a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Is it, a, is that just what a virus looks like? Or is that like a, it's like a something phage or something? Uh, like the weird, like, microscopic robotic organisms. It looks like one of those things, but like, big. I can break these? Okay, I can just break fluorescent lights. That's satisfying. <laughs> okay, let's go save Knuckles. Knuckles deserves to be saved. Nucleus. Quickly get some more rings back so I have like some boost power because not having infinite boost is kind of painful. There we go. <laughs> not gonna lie, playing as Rope the Bat in this game is really cool. I just I wish the voice lines would change as well, but I understand it's like really early and they haven't had a chance to do that yet. I would not be surprised if like people start getting uh, voice actors to like change the uh, voice lines and also replacing these scenes with uh, the character as well. 
Also, I didn't realize that these scenes were pre-rendered, which explains why uh, custom skins such as the Sonic Adventure 2 skin don't show up in these. Some rescue. I'm still half ghost. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> What's going on with you? Uh, just a little side effect of the island's weird energy. What are you this doing scene so is kind of awkward. <laughs> No knuckles the way. <laughs> I was investigating some strange ruins when I was transported here. Then got I don't trapped. think he knows the way. That's why he got trapped. <laughs> also, here's Low Anarctic. Anarctic? Antarctic. And <laughs> Low Anarctic Doctor. So I can beat up some big robots. You'll be free and back to guarding the Master Emerald in no time. E. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I don't know, Knuckles being like buddy buddy you with Sonic is kind of cute. <laughs> Be empowered with this technique. Okay, what is this technique you taught me? Uh, because I haven't actually used either of these. Oh, so that's the one that happens when you counter an enemy. Uh, hold X during a combo to launch a powerful attack that delivers a flurry of hits as Sonic ascends. We're going to ascend. Uh, we are going to ascend to wherever Sonic goes when he is no longer the in this world. Oh, there's a medal way up there. I was going to ask how you get there and then that popped in. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Very really weird because you woke up at 7am, not your normal waking up time. I also woke up at 7am. But like, that's now becoming my normal waking up time. My normal waking up time used to be like 1pm, but like, I might have slightly fixed my sleep schedule, kinda, because uh, I have a job, <laughs> which is the... Well, I, I was gonna say is new, but I've had a job now since like July. Uh, yeah. You know what waking up time was in the evening? Oh jeez. Oh, let me guess, you do night shift. I used to... well not night shift, I used to do a morning shift that was so early it might as well have been a night shift. So I basically would just like uh, sleep when I got home from work and like basically work was the last thing I did before going to bed. <laughs> it was nice though, I, I started work at like 6am uh, and then I uh, got home at like noon. Uh, you're unemployed and broken sleep schedule on disability. Oh, I've been there before. Like, uh, back when I was still living with my uh, parents, because, uh, like, my mom also, like, really struggles with, like, sleeping because she uh, is also disabled and, uh, like, struggles with, like, epilepsy and sleep apnea and a bunch of other stuff like that. Uh, basically, we would uh, go to bed at, like, uh, sometimes, like, 1 p.m. <laughs> And then not wake up until like uh, 8 uh, pm. <laughs> Heck, there was an advert right in the middle of me talking about that. <laughs> Hold that bot, will do. <laughs> not that you can hear me. How the heck do I get back down there? There is a, a medal there and I want it. I want to obtain that medal. Do I need to like jump here? Oh wait, no I see. I see, I see, I see. I couldn't see that because it wasn't popped in properly yet. I think if we follow this so long... Yeah, there we go. Oh, it isn't loading in. There's supposed to be a spring there, I think. Which like... I think it might load in if we do this. But for some reason it's just like not loading. I guess it's decent optimization if it's not needed because you're not currently doing the trick then don't load it. But it also means that you can't cheese it. Oh hello you're back! Uh so yeah as I was saying like uh because like uh, living with my uh, parent who was like struggling with like sleep and stuff as well I'd basically be like waking up at uh so I'd be going to bed at like 1 or 2 p.m. and then waking up at like 8 or 10. Like straight up just like nocturnal sleep cycle. 
Like, it is not healthy to do that, but, like, I understand, like, where you're coming from for, like, doing that and, like, having to do that because, like, you're struggling with other stuff. It, it sucks. Hopefully stuff gets better for you at some point, but, like, yeah. Zero out of ten would not recommend. I went the wrong way. I want to go up there to do that level. I don't know if this is the first level in the area or not, but like, to be honest, I've realised that the uh, level order doesn't actually matter. Uh, you can basically just do them in any order. There's no specific order that you're supposed to, because they're not down to like story or anything. They do technically trigger cutscenes, but I think if you're not meant to see the cutscene yet, it doesn't play from what I've seen. And then when you are meant to see the cutscene, I'll just play all of them one after the other. Oh yeah, so also, fun fact, uh, Sonic Frontiers has like almost surpassed my uh, From the Depths uh, tutorial video on YouTube as my most popular YouTube video. So, uh, hey YouTube, <laughs> at some point in the future when I upload this, <laughs> apparently you guys like Sonic Frontiers and I'm glad you do because so do I and I'm going to be playing more of this. Hey, if you want to see this live, uh, 9am PST or 5pm BS, no, GMT, depending on uh, which region you're in, uh, feel free to hop in. <laughs> oh, I almost went straight into some spikes. There are so many spikes here. Oh, jeez. Sonic Frontiers might be trending. Really? I didn't notice. Now, I thought it was a really, like, low popularity game. <laughs> Also, geez, has anyone else seen the review bombing this game has been getting? It does not deserve it. Like, there's been people saying, like, the animations are bad, the voice acting is bad. The voice acting is different. It's not bad. Like, there's some iffy issue areas, but, like, yeah, overall, it's pretty good for a Sonic game. But, and they've been saying, like, oh, there's no plot, or, like, the plot's bad and stuff. I haven't seen any of these issues with this game. Like, it's not buggy. I bumped into very big, uh, like, a very like tiny amounts of like bugs and the bugs I've bumped into have been like physics issues because I was doing something I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> like, yeah, it's uh, the game deserves criticism, not hate. Exactly. Like, if I got anything to criticize this game for, uh, I would probably say the physics and the momentum are kind of bad. There's a mod that fixes that though. <laughs> not that that's an excuse for it, but if you install that mod, the game's good. <laughs> it was good beforehand, but it becomes, like, really good. <laughs> and, like, these levels as well. Like, I do uh, agree they could probably do with having their uh, difficulty tweaked, because the times for S rank, except for one specific level at the start of the game, is... I oh, don't no, go back. I want that ring. Uh, it's really lenient. However... I'm using a mod that rebalances the S rank uh, amount and like other stuff with like the missions and things, so we're gonna see how that works out. I'm gonna see if I get an S rank by barely bothering on this level. Uh... Okay, let's keep a lookout for any more uh, red rings. Oh, there's one. Okay, we just need one more. Also, I love these retro-style uh, 2D Sonic levels. Like, there's so many little niche references and stuff. Like I was saying earlier, uh, for like people who weren't here, I love how much they pander to like uh, various different Sonic uh, uh, nostalgias. Because there's multiple games that they reference from the past, but it's not blatant and in your face that they're doing it. It's one of those things where, like, if you experienced this beforehand, you'd be like, Oh, I remember this bit. That's really cool. But other people would just be like, yeah, that's a cool level. <laughs> yes, I absolutely deserve a D rank there. I'm liking that rebalance because I'm pretty sure I would have got a B for that beforehand. And 70 rings feels like a good amount for that level. Let's try that again and see if we can S rank it this time. Because this time I don't need to worry about the uh, red rings. I can just go fast. Uh, that was an accident, but I will go with it. Uh, I think, like, my one complaint with uh, the... Am I soft-locked? I'm soft-locked. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me a second. 
we're gonna retry the stage. <laughs> My one complaint with the uh, the monogon for the momentum changes is uh, so like beforehand I was using a mod that improved the physics, but it also did a bunch of other changes I didn't like, uh, and also the physics were kind of dank sometimes. So they changed how blocking works to make the window really tight, and I didn't like that. Uh, they also did something to the physics where sometimes like springs would overshoot really badly. Uh, but <laughs> Patrick going no in the background is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, the physics would sometimes overshoot springs and stuff, which was awful. Uh, but like this momentum mod uh, does better physics than the other one, and like a bunch of us have feels good. It doesn't do the weird tweak with how. Um, that blocking works but uh, it also doesn't have uh, oh the changes to the homing attack so like homing attack with the physics change has like no delay you could just homing attack constantly uh, also nice we got an S rank I was trying to go for the 70 rings uh, but with this mod, there's like a delay between it. It's kind of janky and clank clunky, uh, like in the base game, because it is the base game system. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get enough rings to get a uh, the other thing, get all of the keys. Yeah, the modding scene for this game is amazing at the moment. There's like physics change mods, there's uh, text change mods. There's mods for like different characters you can play as. There's one that replaces the uh, Cocos with Chow. Uh, with, and I quote, plans to add more features in the future. I really hope they somehow manage to port a Chow Garden into this game. Like one of my biggest wishes for this game when I first heard about it was that they added a, uh, a Chow Garden. Yes, I am a nerd. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one of my uh, biggest wishes for this uh, game when I first heard about it was that they would add a Chow Garden because it felt like the perfect sort of game to add a Chow Garden to. And then they didn't. Also, we didn't get the enough rings sort of thing. We need like 70. That's harsh. 70 rings is really harsh for that. Uh, I think I'll just like progress on and get this later. Uh, but like, there wasn't a Chow Garden. And they mentioned that they were replacing Chow with like uh, Cocos because like they had a fan art they showed off in a tweet at one point being like, oh yeah, uh, we, uh, like here's like an image for like Sonic Frontiers with like some fan art and stuff with like some Chow and things. But they presented it in such a way that people were like, oh, there's Chow in the game? And no, there was like, no, unfortunately uh, there aren't Chow in the game. We're instead having our other small creatures for Cocos. It's like, oh, that's cool. I would prefer Chow. That's cool. <laughs> the rogue uh, thing is so good. Like, <laughs> I know it's literally just doing Sonic's animations. The Sonic's animations are already good, but it fits the animations perfectly with no changes. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> New. Uh, what's so great about the Chow Garden? Uh, <laughs> well, if you want me to go into why I love Chow Garden, uh, <laughs> so Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 was a constant uh, action uh, adventure game with like uh, constant like uh, story missions to do and it was just, like action, 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 like constant things happening, gloom and doom, uh, like really dark plot line, all that kind of stuff. And then you get a key in the game which sends you to the Chow Garden where everything is suddenly you relax, you've got the virtual pet system in the game, these guys show up and you can take care of them and they're adorable and like the stuff you get from the game can be put into this to then get like other things to happen so like raising their stats, making them look like different animals, uh, you've got the chow karate and the chow races and just it's really cool. I, the chow garden is like it's the perfect uh, juxtaposition from the main game. Like, it can be its own completely separate thing and I would still love it, although that probably wouldn't work as well, but yes. <laughs> There's a lot I love about the Chow Garden. Like, it was a really bold step to put it into uh, Sonic Adventure, but it really works. What the heck? I guess I'm up here now. I don't know why I'm up here, but I'm up here now. Um, 
And yeah, Rogue has wings and I am also sad that she can't use them. Like, the closest she's got to using the wings is like that. Also, that's a lot of purple coins. We should go fishing at some point. Uh, am I missing any more chow? Is there a chow up there? No. What? Oh, I see what this is for now. Right. That was cool. I like that. And we got one of these eggs. I'm not sure what these are. Like, you get like a weird like egg fruit thing. Uh, that's the blue chaos emerald. Can we get that? Now nah, we need four more keys. However, this dude has something he wants to say. Let's go and say hi to him. Uh, which direction are you? That way. Uh, you sure Knuckles isn't faster than Sonic? Orc said that red is the fastest colour. <laughs> oh, you got that one right, mate. But you know what's even faster than Knuckles? Apparently a blue hedgehog with red shoes. <laughs> <laughs> How many stat increase do I get for these fruits? <laughs> Yeah, Warhammer. Oh, speaking of Warhammer, I've recently been playing Vermintide 2. Actually really cool. I'm looking forward to the 40k one as well. Uh, it's because red is the fastest locker, but blue... Uh, the lo red is the fastest locker. <laughs> red is the fastest colour, but blue is lucky. <laughs> Damn, Rogue is fast. I don't think you realise just how fast she is. She's fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not specifically 40k, is it? I think... Do I have a fancy dwarves? Uh, not dwarves. Do I have a fancy orcs also speak the same? Or is it literally just the fancy ones? Or the, the 40k ones? Oh, it's only 40k. Okay, I've got that completely mixed up. So yeah, we need three more keys in order to get that, so we need to find a level and go and beat it. And we've already gotten most of the keys on that one, so I think it would be more cost effective to go like down here and see if we can find one down there. Uh, can I see a level over there? Keeping my eyes peeled for giant thrones. No. Uh, is that a level? Can I make this jump? No, I cannot make this jump. <laughs> uh, speaking of mods that change uh, the text on this game, there's some that change the uh, text for the game over screen, and it's great. <laughs> like, I don't know if there's mods anywhere else for this game, but uh, yeah, Sonic can't swim. Sonic's never been able to swim in any of the games ever. Uh, but like, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, Game Banana has a lot of mods for this game at the moment. Well, a lot. There's like 30, but considering this game has only been out for a week, that's a lot of mods. <laughs> uh, but there might be also mods in like somewhere else, like, uh, uh, what was it? Mod Nexus, I think is the other one that might also have them. But yeah. Uh, the cult of speed would still aspire to be as fast as Sonic and will gladly use the wah energy to achieve her goal, even if it breaks the fabric of reality. <laughs> <laughs> Which colour do you use to break the fabric of reality? <laughs> Orcs are silly. I really love them. <laughs> okay, so we need another key for this thing. But we do know where it is, so we're going to mark here that that level's there. 
And we're gonna go and find another key. Not a key, another portal thing. Uh, right, so the best way to get those would be killing bosses. So I think I need to go find that shark we found before. Because uh, that guy's probably got the next key. Oh, hello there, friend. So many of these guys. Painting a missile yellow will make the, re the resulting explosion bigger. That's a legit orc thing and it scares me. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me that Super Sonic uh, would explode bigger because he's blue, not blue, uh, gold. <laughs> At a point, Super Sonic loses his luck but gains explosions. I got a cutscene. Oh right, this is happening for the first time on stream. So you don't have blood moons in this Breath of the Wild clone. You instead have uh, like this cosmic rain, and yet these uh, things are falling on the ground. And you have to go and collect. Kane's massive booms. Nope, there was a couple of chow there. Hello there, friends. Uh, let's try and collect as many of these as we can. I think we have until morning to collect all of these. Why is the camera locked? What just happened? That was interesting. Oh, we found a boss. Is that the shark? I think the shark just initiated a fight with me. Oh wait, that's just that thing. Uh, that's a good question. How do you get knocked out of Supersonic? Uh, you run out of rings. Uh, so Supersonic's entire thing is he's completely invulnerable, but he constantly loses one ring a second. And if you run out of rings, you lose Supersonic and go back into regular Sonic and spew out your emeralds. Ew. I don't know, this is cool. I like this. Like, it doesn't really serve too much of a purpose. Like, you get more uh, coins for the uh, fishing minigame. Like, we've made a hundred coins for fishing at the moment. We've got a lot of these things. Or Knuckles just punches you really hard and then laughs at you. Yeah, apparently Knuckles is strong enough to punch uh, Sonic out of uh, Super Sonic mode. But I have a reasoning for that in lore. Uh, my head kind of... You absolute butt. You are not living for that. How dare you? <laughs> Get out of here. So Knuckles is the master of the Chaos Emerald. He's the Chaos Emerald's chosen protect protector and the last of his species. So therefore, Knuckles has been blessed with the uh, mystic ability to be able to uh, stop the Chaos Emeralds at a whim. This is even shown in Sonic Adventure 2 when, uh, and also Sonic Adventure 1 when Knuckles uses the prayer that Takal teaches him to uh, be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. Uh, although he usually used, needs the Master Emerald to do it so I'm not really sure why he was able to do it in Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles without having access to the Master Emerald. Unless it was because it was on Angel Island and Angel Island is the Master Emerald's home. So maybe the entire place that has like the Master Emerald's power? Sorry whilst I just did like a massive head of lore drop but I think you guys are enjoying this right? <laughs> Your free trial of living has just expired Sonic. I have the Master Emerald. How the heck did I mess up jumping through that so badly? There we go. Okay, let's go find a boss monster. Uh, we could go to that level. What level is that? Oh, it's that one we've already done. Okay. Oh, this thing might have one. Uh, mini boss is weird. Well, I call it a mini boss. It's like a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a basic overworld enemy? Ooh, wonder where this starts. Oh, you got bads? Heck, welcome back. Heck, I messed up. Uh... Ew.
Okay, I think I'm gonna try and kill that thing and see if it drops a... Hello there. I gotta see if that big thing drops a uh, warp key. Or maybe this thing will drop a warp key. I love how killing that basically just involves overloading it. What the heck is this thing? Oh, what the heck is this thing? Oh, that's cool. Hold up. Get back here. I want to ride you again. What are you? You're cool. Hello there. Oh, it's an enemy. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, what happens if I bounce on it? It kills it. <laughs> Okay, can I keep my combo up for this? Uh, apparently not. Uh, I'm struggling against these things for some reason. Oh, that works. And then release that shield and... I missed, haven't I? Have I missed? No, I didn't miss. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hello back. Koi hoi. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back from the ads. Okay, so let's go kill this thing again, because uh, it might drop a key for the level. For a second there, I expect it to go into the Metal Gear Solid theme. Like, do, 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 do. <laughs> it did like a similar note. Alright, you're gonna do lasers. Ow. Okay, I guess we're zero ringing this. Uh, please don't spawn that on me, that's fine. Okay, and last one. Let's see if we can do this in one shot. Lots of damage. And stomp. Stomp. Not dead. It has a pixel of health. I almost did that. Okay, let's get some safety rings. Can I have infinite boost power, please? Please? Where's the infinite boost power? I get like a hundred rings, or not hundred, four hundred. No, apparently I'm just not allowed to have infinite boost power. Okay, fair enough. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> many ads were slain and we gained many cognition points. <laughs> oh geez, where does cognition points come from? I can't remember. I recognize that as a video game term, but I can't remember where it comes from. Oh, let's jump over that. And also completely fall off of the rings, apparently. Okay, that's fine. And also, can we talk about how cool this uh, boss was set up? So I didn't even need the tutorial for this boss when I first did it. Because I understood that the rings on the, uh, that you used to get onto the boss... Oh, jeez. Uh, basically... The rings you used to get on the boss, like when you go around them, they get covered in blue, and then they turn whiter when you pro progress. And just from having that small bit of information from the tutorial, not from the uh, intro to this boss, meant that I knew how to do the rest of the boss just from the fact that everything turns blue when you grind on it. I fell. Okay. Good point to get more rings. But we've almost done it. Okay, let's get back on the boss. Ow. And you. Okay. Did I fall off? No, I did not. Okay. Perfect. 
you're done for. <laughs> it's no use. Take this. <laughs> Mechanicus needed to use certain weapons for the tech priests to move beyond their normal movement range. Weird, because I've never played Mechanicus. I must be thinking of another game. I know which game I was thinking of. I just realized. Uh, Dungeons of Dreadmoor. Uh, I think one of the uh, stats you have is Cognition. And it's used for... No, it was it Cognition. Yeah. That, I, yeah, I can't remember what the stat was for. I was going to say it was used for magic damage, but no, it wasn't. Uh, magic damage was uh, the blue stat that began with an S, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I... I think... Oh, I remember. It was used for whether or not you could learn uh, recipes, whether or not you could craft the recipes, because it, it tied in with the crafting stat as well. And it also had like a couple other uses to do with like memory, but I can't remember what it did. I should play Dungeon of Dreadmore on stream at some point. Like It'll probably just be like a one-off or maybe a couple streams, because uh, unfortunately it's a very dead game. Uh, the devs who made it, uh, fortunately, have abandoned the game entirely and they went defunct, uh, they went bankrupt, whatnot. But, uh, like, it has a pretty decent modding scene, uh, which is keeping it, like, having some new content. Unfortunately, the modding scene is dying down quite badly because it's just old at this point. Oh, you absolute butt. Uh, <laughs> but it is really cool. Combat this game feels like, hey, remember the good combat abilities we gave Shadow in 06? Let's do that again, but in a good game. Yes, exactly. Like, my only experience with Shadow's uh, combat abilities in 06 is from Sonic Worlds, but it felt really good in that. And also from watching people play the Sonic 06 remake game, because uh, that fan game is actually really cool. I really like what they're doing with it. Like, they're just remaking Sonic 06 from the ground up in a better engine with a bunch of bug fixes. And they're doing an amazing job with it. I really hope they finish it. Because, like, Sonic 06 fundamentally wasn't a bad Sonic game. It was just a badly made Sonic game. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, mechanics-wise, it was interesting. Story-wise, it was interesting. Levels-wise, it was interesting. Mechanics actually functioning and the game not being buggy. And a bunch of other stuff like that. That's where it struggled. <laughs> Uh, where was that level I was finding? It was like down here. We don't have a key for it though yet. We need more keys, but I guess we just do this level again, because we can technically, if we get 70 rings of this level, we can get another four uh, keys. But I just wanted to do like a different level, but I guess this is the only level we can play at the moment. Maybe we'll unlock more later. Oh. Uh... Okay. Uh, if they got rid of a stupid billiards puzzle in the desert level I'm in. <laughs> oh geez, it's one of those games? Because I, I have a similar story with uh, Dark Cloud 2. If they got rid of a stupid golf mini game, I would love it. Like, it's not as good as the first one. It has a lot of cool new features which weren't in the first one, which I do like. It's a shame that the golf mini game and a bunch of other stuff just kind of let it down. Because unfortunately, Dark Cloud had the same issue as the first game, in which, in which they decided to make a kitchen sink game. They took any and every mechanic they could, threw it at the engine, and saw if it stuck. Uh, and they didn't do as good of a job in the second one doing that as they did with the first. <laughs> the first one had like its flaws, don't get me wrong, it wasn't a perfect game, but like, oh boy, was uh. Was the first one better in a lot of regards? Can I get back up here, please? I want to get some rings. There we go. There's a bunch of level over here we didn't even see before. I love how they still have the slow moving missile projectiles from the first game. And those there, hoi hoi! Welcome, welcome, hello! Oh. Okay, so I need another 47 rings. Let's see if we can find those. 
Help, help, help. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> Hello, Mia the Mo. Hoi hoi. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Uh, where the heck can I find another 42 rings? That's not even that many rings, but apparently they're just being really elusive. Some here. One here. Uh, oh, there's some. Uh, I'm gonna go down because I think there's gonna be more over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that mop emote is adorable. I love them. Oh. Just go through this real slow, just take our time, make sure we grab every single ring we can. We need another 13. And we've done it. Okay, now we need to get to the end of the level without taking damage. Easy. Uh, 42. The answer to the ultimate question for life, the universe, and everything. But what is said ultimate question? Um, how many yips does it take for a cobble to be happy? <laughs> that is the ultimate question. Can I just, like... I could just break through that? That's cool! Oh, there's so many rings here. It's just a bunch of hidden rings in these boxes that we had no idea about. And there's the end of the level. Okay, so we got a terrible time. Uh, basically, you have giant balls you have to knock into holes, which they have a counter that goes down over time. And if it hits zero, the ball disappears. Easy, right? Well, any time you hit the ball, which is the only way to move them, the counter drops by one. So each time you hit the ball, you lose five seconds for using the ball. I take back everything I just said about Dark Cloud 2. At least they were kind with their golf mini game. That's terrible. Those rings are actually made of gold and painted gold. Made of lead and painted gold. I don't believe you. How does Sonic run so fast then when he collects more? Because the more rings you have, the faster you run. Is it like... Does he have like inverse weight, uh, weighted training things? Like... <laughs> like inverse uh, weighted training anklets or something like that. Clearly they're anti-matter rings, yes. They have anti-gravity and they make him run faster. Okay, yep, we got one key. And we also got the plus three for getting 100% of a level. So we can now go and grab back Chaos Emerald. Wait. Yeah, okay, we got all of it. Uh, why is... Is that why Shadow gets stronger when he takes them off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, is it safe to jump down here? Yep. Okay, let's do a heckin' new. Also... Really cool thing with uh, Sonic Frontiers, the Hedge Mod Manager, which is a mod manager for a bunch of Sonic games, including, uh, how was it? Oh, what is this? Including like Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations and a few other games like that. Uh, it now works on Sonic Frontiers, and it has support now for uh, automatic mod updating. So if you have a mod that's compatible with Hedge Mod Manager, uh, chances are they're eventually going to add a system into it for automatic updating. They just need to like link it to the GitHub and stuff. Uh, from what I can see, it doesn't look that difficult to do. There's like more and more mods are getting support for it, and more and more mods are getting support for the automatic update. They're getting support for config options. Like so far, the only mod I've seen that gets config options is the Momentum mod I'm using. It has an option for if you have like the regular boost meter like this one, or if you have a short one that only lasts for like that much time and then it wears off which makes sense given the fact that your momentum gets ki kept when you stop boosting in this mod because uh, usually if you let go of this you immediately like slow down in the base game but this one slowly reduces the speed which i really like yeah let's get this uh chaos emerald actually first hey dude i have things can i talk to you no oh, okay <laughs> Why is he so derpy? Oh. 
Why is he now levitating? <laughs> Also, I'm surprised that there isn't a shadow mod for this game yet. Like, one of the first mods made for this game was a shadow mod, but it's missing from Game Banana now, and I have no idea where it went. And it's like a request to bring it back, but I think the reason why it was removed originally is because it was being uploaded to Game Banana before the game officially released because the game got leaked. It's already a silver mod. There's a silver mod and there's a blaze mod. There's also a cream the rabbit mod. Is that why he's so derpy? I mean, look at uh, how tall he is. I remember to see Rogan. He needs to look down. <laughs> that thing is hecking cool. I know what that's based off as well. There's a prehistoric, uh, like, arthropod that looks like that. That's so heckin' cool! Oh, it looks... It's like a combination of like a prehistoric arthropod and Leviamon from Digimon. With like giant hands. Evil Cosmo from Sonic X! <laughs> I need to find someplace safe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. I was gonna say like, uh... What if I... Oh no. Explosions. I was gonna say, I, I might like uh, back up the game a second to go and like uh, switch which modded character we're playing as. Oh, geez. Uh, but this suddenly happened, so I guess we'll wait on that. Oh, it suddenly explains why this was laid out like this. This is cool. This is really cool. Oh, I heckin' love this. This is cool. I'm getting my ass handed to me, but this is cool. Oh, heck. But yeah, I'm starting to understand with this game why it has an action mode and a speedster mode. So the action mode... Or was it, was it that? I can't remember. But yeah, basically there's a mode for I struggle with game mechanics and I just want the story. And there's a uh, mode for I want a classic Sonic experience. I'm currently on that classic Sonic experience mode, but there is an easier mode for people who won't be able to do this kind of stuff. Does Big the Cat manage for fishing thing? Yeah, he does. <laughs> fishing is managed by Big the Cat. When you put a male character or a female in a rhythm game like Project Diva, <laughs> yeah. Final warning. Leave. Screw you, lady. <laughs> that was a warning. <laughs> Talk to Nucleus. No. Yeah, uh... Who should I switch to? I could do like a Twitch poll? Yeah, I haven't done these in a while. Uh... Hold up, let me do a poll. Slash poll. Uh, so... Which character should I play as? Rogue, Sonic, Dream, Blaze. And allow additional votes. Duration. Let's go for like two minutes. There we go. Uh, what if I don't want to leave? You told me there would be milk and cookies. I want my milk and cookies. <laughs> and no Walter Foster. Hoi hoi. So yeah, we have a Twitch poll up. Uh, <laughs> uh, for like which character mod I should switch to. Because I have a couple installed. I just don't have them all activated. Because that would be stupid. <laughs> I wonder if at some point they'll be able to like mod it in. So that the... Uh, the characters get added as alternate skins. Because I know that they currently replace the default skin. Uh, but uh, there is also a skin you can have in game for Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Sonic. Oh, not Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic. Ow. Uh, more mods slain. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> oh, that thing is just flying in the air constantly now. That's heckin' cool. 
I love that. That's awesome. Bonk. Uh, we don't have any keys for the levels, unfortunately. But let's go say hi to uh, Nucleus. Wait, what is that thing? I want that thing. Yes! Oh, there was a duck! Uh, there's also the adventure gloves and boots where Sonic is wearing brown leather gloves and boots. Yee! Uh, so we're currently even on Cream and Sonic. We're no longer even on Cream and Sonic. <laughs> Sonic is winning by a large margin. <laughs> oh heck! <laughs> Remember the original model they used for the Sonic movie? That could be a mod for this game, absolutely, because someone managed to recreate it with a 3D model. So yeah, the, the cool thing about uh, you guys deciding that you wanted to have Sonic in the thing is that if I go to... I save over there so we have like our save up. If I go back to the title screen, I don't actually need to reload the game at all. Oh, no, go back. I just need to go to Extras and turn this on. Boom. We're no longer rogue. Rogue only overwrites the uh, the default Sonic uh, costume, whereas uh, the other Sonic costumes are completely unaffected. I kind of hope at some point when the modding scene in this game like gets good enough that you could uh, mod in like specific character mechanics like Amy's Pico Hammer and Rogue's like gliding and stuff like that. That'd be cool. Then again, maybe Sonic. Uh... But the Sonic World might be a better uh, place to do that for. Like, I would not be surprised if people import this level into Sonic World. We need Sanic in here, yes! <laughs> Sanic Adventure would be like a great mod. Father was right about you. You're reckless and destructive. I have no idea what your deal is, but if we could just talk. No, no discourse, no bartering, only elimination. Knuckles, you hecking bone-headed dumbass. Wait, he did it? He did it! Knuckles can just eat lasers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Time out! Time out? She attacked you! Yeah, it's kind of her thing. But she's trying to protect something. Or someone. I'm willing to help, but first, I need to know what's going on. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh. You're too trusting, Sonic. No, I'm not. Trust me. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Amy and her Pico Hammer are overpowered. She's practically the forum of this world, yes. <laughs> she can yeet the hammer and call it back anytime she wants. <laughs> I understand you having a crush on Knuckles. He does have a really good personality. Especially Sonic Boom Knuckles. Sonic Boom Knuckles is great. Oh. Yeah, uh... Oh, I was gonna say something but I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I love the like father-daughter interactions between Sage and... Uh... Oh, what's his name? Eggman? Sorry, I forgot Robotnik's name there for a second, jeez. I think it's really well done and really cute. Like, I love the scenes between them. Like the whole thing of like, uh, make getting me out of here your top priority, but your safety is my top priority. It's it's really cute. Ah heck. How the heck did you guys do that? You guys have your shields up, but I can just do this. Where's your shields now? <laughs> There's their shield now. Um. <laughs> Good personality, he's a sweetheart, low to a T, and will probably beat someone up for hurting his partner. Ideal husbando. You have like everything right there. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I, like, as a, uh, like a kid or something, like, ever had a crush on a Sonic character, but I don't think I ever did. 
I just quickly ran over like a bunch of characters I remember from this game and I was just like, yeah, nah. I had gender envy from Rogue. That's about it though. <laughs> Uh, oh. There's stuff down there and I want to go and boop it. I've already done this. I feel like I have, but there's more loot here. Oh. Hello there. You're new. I haven't seen you before. Your music's cool too. Oh, he gets a sumo ring. Oh, this is cool. Yes. He has a shield up. How do I? Do I need to parry you? How does this work? How do I sumo wrestle? <laughs> How do I sumo? <laughs> um. Ah. Huh. That isn't doing anything. Off the road. Off the road? Are you telling me I can- Wait. No, that doesn't work either. I was like expecting like a uh, wrestling move there for a second, but no, it doesn't seem to be working. Can I- Nope. What if I- I can jump on him. He has collisions. Oh, that was weird. So I managed to get like over his shield. Ah, okay. Now it's letting me do it. Okay. Ah, I see. Oh, that's second cool. Uh, so if I like, there we go. Okay, he's back up. Okay, and then we will... Bonk! Yes! I got the Phantom Rush and it didn't do anything. Wait, can I? Oh, that's silly. <laughs> There's a limit to how many times you could do that, of course, because otherwise it could soft block you, but that was silly. <laughs> gotcha. Who wants fried robot? Duck inside its body. Okay. I guess we're frying it once more. It's not quite done. <laughs> Bonk. Okay, let's do one of these. Didn't quite work out. Almost. I think I need some more speed before I hit him. So, like that. There we go. <laughs> and he's toast. And we got one of these things. Yes, let's go do a level. Finally. Where was that level I wanted to do? It was like here, right? Somewhere around there? Let's do this. How do I get there? Uh... Hello there. That apparently this rail wants to steal my camera. Don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Uh, oh, hello there. There was a friend. <laughs> right, where's this next level? He thinks you have to push him into the electrified bits. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, I'll leave you alone, that's fine. However, I think I just saw a chow up here. Nope, but I did find a box. Just 
had a bunch of rings in it. Oh, full moon. Okay. So somewhere over in that direction is a level. Surprised how close I got that. I found the shark again. Uh, we'll do the shark later. I want to do another level. You have no idea how much willpower it's taking to not just go fight the shark right now. Also, that's in the wrong direction. We want to go this way. Uh, I'm still going the wrong direction. I want to go that way. We just get a medal out of it. How do we get there? Uh, like this, I suppose. Yeah. Grab these friends. And another key. I'll take a key. Nope, wait. I can't make that jump. I've tried that before. I can make that jump, though. And... Level is... Somewhere over here. Where was it? Ah, it's down there. Oh, I guess we're grabbing that medal. Uh, I get distracted by so many of these things along the way. There's just so much stuff to do constantly in this game. That was there this entire time. I could have gone straight to that level if I had have known that was there and it was just... 90% uh, of the time in the desert. Okay, how did I get here? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's grab these friends. And we need to get over this way. And we're in! <laughs> I can't believe there was a key to that level right... Like, it was basically like 20 feet away from it or something like that. I, I'm not good with distances. It was not very far anyway. It was like two seconds away in Sonic time. <laughs> wonder what kind of level this one is. I hope it's another 3D one. It's like, I like the 2D ones, but I want more 3D levels. Another big chair. <laughs> New. Okay, uh, let's do this to reset the timer, because um, I want to try to go for an S rank of this level. Oh wow, really? Like that? 3D, let's go! <laughs> okay, I need to be more careful apparently. Oh no. I'm getting really uh, like done dirty by the uh, uh, the physics. Oh no. No, no. You know what? It's fine. We're just going to get used to the level first. We're not going for S rank. <laughs> Maybe I'll go for, like, max rings first. Wow. I promise, I'm good at Sonic games, right? <laughs> Just maybe not the 3D ones. Ah, uh, I should have homing attacked. Okay, I think I got this. What is wrong with me? Hold up. <laughs> I promise I'm not throwing for content. I am legitimately just being this bad. There we go. It's very easy. Just yeet yourself off the stage. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Peace and point. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I think I just need to like use the bounce more and be careful around these spikes. Okay, uh, there's another one of these red rings. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay, we're not going for max rings this level anymore apparently because we just lost them. 
Unless there's like somewhere just like heck tons of rings for no reason. Nope. Okay. Wait, 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 no, no! I missed one of a red ring. We're all the way back at the start. There was no checkpoint. What if we 100% this like first try? <laughs> now nah, we're not 100%ing it. Looks like the how long it's taken me to go through this level. Oh. Uh... Okay, that was risky, but it paid off. <laughs> okay, I think I've got the flow now. Hey, guess what? What is it, Toozy? <laughs> okay, we're gonna just wait for this to go around the other way, because I can't get the red ring otherwise. Oh, jeez! <laughs> okay, note to self. Do not... <laughs> do not light speed dash on a line of rings that is circular. Oh my god. You know what? I might turn off the uh, momentum mod. We're cute. Heck yeah, we are. How do I take damage there? Uh, but like... I might turn off the momentum mod because it's legitimately, like, as much as it feels amazing on the overworld level, it's making all of the other levels way more difficult. Uh... Okay. And... Over here. Okay, so I need to remember that on this last jump, there is a red ring right there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to back out of this level, we're going to turn off the momentum mod, and then we're going to come back into here, because that momentum mod is wrecking me. I love it, it feels so good in the overworld. And then you go into a level where it's like, oh no, physics are bad. <laughs> Yeah, that was from a mod. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, this Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> okay, no cutscene, so let's do a save. And then go back to title. You saw a nut? Where? My favourites are pistachios. <laughs> Nut button. <laughs> okay, hedge mod manager. And we're going to turn off Cohen's momentum tweaks. And we'll turn on that. Okay, save and play. Okay, reboot in the game. Let's hope this one works. <laughs> Is it going to show up on OBS? There we go. Okay, let's try that level again without flying off it repeatedly. <laughs> if I lose repeatedly on here, it just means I'm actually bad at the game and the momentum mod had nothing to do with it. Which I'm prepared to admit, I just really hope it's not the case. <laughs> uh, why can't I control anything? The window wasn't focused, okay. Why are the menus silent? Has the sound died? They say the sound didn't die. That would suck. <laughs> Let's just reboot the game. It's like, oh, everything's fine now, except the sound's dead. Hold up. What's going on? <laughs> there we go. The sound was still dead and it kept repeatedly pausing itself. Okay, let's see if the physics is still Borg. Uh, 
Uh, back in the big chair. Yee! Okay. <laughs> okay, that's more controllable. That's a lot better. <laughs> it, it, generally, that feels a lot better to use, but I might still be bad at the game. <laughs> Hold on. Let's try to take this carefully and try to go for the S rank. It is a Wednesday, my dudes. Oh no. That's too many items. Wait, I'm still trying to go after the red ring. What am I doing? I don't need the red ring anymore. Just focus on going fast. <laughs> we just need to go fast. Okay. <laughs> Why do you always say it's Wednesday, my dudes? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's never Thursday. <laughs> Thursday does not exist. <laughs> uh, do I use VTuber Plus? Yeah. How do you make the health bar work when it comes to point redeems? There's a checkbox for it. Uh, like legit, you just need to uh, check a box on the thing and it works. Okay. E, go find it. First try. <laughs> S rank, yes. Okay, let's try and get the 55 rings as well. So I'm going to just take this nice and slow, nice and careful. We're going for 55 rings so we can get the Chaos Emerald. There's no reason to do anything risky and lose all the rings again. First try, I absolutely did not fail like 10 times beforehand. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why did I leave a level? Hold on, we're going back in for that, uh, the ring key. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave a level, it just happened. When there was a Chaos Emerald Vault or portal nearby, I can sort of appear at the top center of the screen. Hold up, I double jumped. I guess I didn't touch the floor. Yeah, that was weird. I wonder if this level has like wonky gravity or something. Why did I restart? I didn't even need to. <laughs> okay. We only include the last try on YouTube version. <laughs> Crop out all the other ones. I don't know, does that make for good content? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, uh... Can I? I can, I can just completely skip that section. Okay, so... we need to go... <laughs> oh hey, there's a Werehog mod. Yeah, there's a Werehog mod. It has a bunch of mods. Like legit, I'd recommend going onto Game Banana and having a look at them. Or like, if you have a favourite mod website, there's another one you use, but for me it's Game Banana. Yeah, the attractive glowing screens are great. They're akin to like, uh, Bayonetta. I missed a bunch of rings. Like, Bayonetta and Devil May- is it- does Devil May Cry do it as well? I think it does. And like, Assassin's Creed and a bunch of other games like that, they all have like the interactive loading screen in the game. I remember some game tried to copyright interactive loading screens, it was really dumb. I'm really glad that people do them anyway. <laughs> Imagine like copywriting a game mechanic that anyone could use to make their game like better without it referencing the game it came from. Like imagine being that game company that decided to do that. Massive L. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for you to shoot and... No! You know what, it's fine, we'll try anyway. 
we might still have enough, but I'm not sure if we do, because the level's really short. Oh no, get the heck back on that platform. We're going back to the start anyway. Uh, <laughs> Massive game company L, Blizzard? Yeah, I think it was Blizzard. No, Blizzard did something else, didn't they? It's like Blizzard is also like right out for some dodgy like practices in the game industry, but eh. Don't you guys have mobiles? <laughs> Okay, so... I'm not gonna risk trying to hit that thing, I'm just gonna skip it. Like, I don't know what it is for those enemies, but trying to hit them with a homing attack just doesn't work. And I can't use the uh, ranged attack in this mode, so that doesn't work either. I really hope I don't need 60 rings. Luna, don't ever say that! <laughs> Okay, we needed 55. We did it. Okay. <laughs> the first interactive loading screen I remember is from DBZ fighting games on the PS2. Yee! I try to think of other games that have loading screens for that era, but of that you can interact with, but I can't really think of any. Uh yeah, I I'm not really familiar with any from the era. Cause I remember there's like some that have like interactable like loading screen stuff with like I've always said there's a fighting game I've played before that has a loading screen being a... Was it a fighting game? I don't think it was a fighter game, but anyway, a game I played in the past which I have no recollection of, I have no memory of what it was or anything, except for the fact that the loading screens were bullet hells. It was uh, top-down scrolling, uh, you're at the bottom of a spaceship, you have to like avoid bullets and shoot other spaceships and you get stuff for it. I can't remember which game it was. It was awesome! Warframe's loading screen slash you make your ship wiggle around, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, so we need to go... over... that way. Yeah. I missed the medal, it's fine. We've got a hundred, we don't think we're gonna need more than that. And no, they're small! I waggled my wings like Starbuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something I should do. I just realized, like, I've got a, uh, a, like, an alternate costume for this model with wings. Uh, can I switch it on the fly? Is that gonna work? Yeah, here we go. I should add jiggle bones to these wings. Why did I never think to do that? They're just like bound to the hip, the little hips, the uh, the shoulders. So they kind of wiggle, but they only wiggle with like the shoulder bones. I should absolutely just like make them uh, have jiggle bones so they can wiggle. Oh, oh. Uh, how will they know that you're not a cyclone? A not a Kylon? Cylon? I just whack on my wings. I call that form Luna Luna. <laughs> also, heck. I keep having a bunch of stuff thrown at me. Luna Nightmare. I think the official name I have for the model, like internally for like the, the file and everything, is just like uh, Nightmare Luna. <laughs> so you're not that far off. You've been living in the past, so you won't last without the proper care with the royal farewell and an animate spell. You won't have long to prepare. <laughs> I probably just like made a bunch of like ex bronies just suddenly wake up from like a fever dream and be like, oh god, I remember that song. <laughs> I'm hoping that there was the Starbuck you were referencing. <laughs> I just realized I got distracted. I'm supposed to be going this way and I just started running in a different direction. Yeah, we need to go in the middle of these rocks over there. Also, heck, my ear is ringing really badly. I feel like I just got flashbanged. You know, it's definitely my ear and not my headphones. 
That's really unfortunate. Me who's not a brony remains unaffected. I used to be a brony. <laughs> like, I kind of distanced myself from the community in the first place, but like... I don't know, I, I identify much more with the furry community than the brony community. The brony community has, uh... There's nice people in the brony community, there's a lot of them, but there's also a lot of, uh, iffy people in the brony community. Uh, <laughs> uh, from the original Battlestar Galactica, the male one. Oh, I've never seen Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> I have no idea what you're referring to. I was a brony back in, like, third grade. Oh, jeez. It was possible to be a brony when you were in third grade? I was in, like, secondary school when, like, MLP FIM came out. Wait, when... When did MLP FIM come out? 2010. I was doing my GCSEs when this came out. I had literally just started them. Oh, boy. <laughs> The way that make me feel old. Uh, the Brony uh, community has 4chan and will always be 4chan. Yeah. Uh, how the heck do I get back Chaos Emerald? It's like over here somewhere, I think, right? No. So it, it's there. How the heck do I get there? Although it's even further out, it's like over here. Isn't it? Oh jeez, how do I get that? Uh, actually I take that back, I was in college a few years before that, I stopped college in 2013. Yee! Who's <laughs> so the year old? <laughs> like I was in college two years after... So Actually, yeah, I just started college when you started being a brony. Um, <laughs> and I think I basically stopped being a brony. Uh, or like, stopped basically being like an active part of the community uh, when you started. <laughs> How the heck do you get those guys up there? Oh, like that, I guess. Uh, so we need to go that way. How the heck do I get in there? This is new. Maybe it's this way? I'm just gonna keep following these interactables and hope that they bring me to the Chaos Emerald. Uh, so I'm going to be emulating the OG.hack games and found out, uh, out I can emulate Hack Fragment, which was the only online game they had. Oh, nice! I never played any of the .hack games. I always... Oh! Oh jeez. I always thought that the uh, dot .hack series at first was like uh, some kind of mod for NetHack. Um, <laughs> you are cute Toozy. <laughs> yeah, I never played or saw anything about dot .hack before to be honest. I, I've heard of the name before, I know it's an anime series as well, but uh, like, I legit just thought that uh, it was, say, uh, like a mod for uh, NetHack. <laughs> I haven't seen this enemy before, that's new. Hey dude, what are you doing? Alter Falter just out here spitting straight facts. What the heck is happening here? What is this boss? Oh, it electrocutes itself. I see now. I wasn't noticing that. Oh. Electrocuting itself again. I can apparently still hit it. Squeaky! How the heck do I fight this thing? This is cool, but I don't understand what I'm doing! <laughs> I 
I'm dead. Where am I? What the heck is... Oh god, it's an angel! <laughs> what is that? Is that a boss? What? What? That is straight up just Ramiel from Evangelion. Recently started another playthrough of Infection but got distracted. I have uh, physical copies of all four but Quarantine is my friends. Yee! I've never heard of a game before, but yee, that sounds cool. You know, being a cobbled really suits Luna. Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> it's kind of the reason why I went for the whole shtick. <laughs> like, I don't know, I spent a long time experimenting with my uh, expression and identity and stuff, and uh, I'm not sure why, but cobble just sticks like me. The problem is, I'm still ghost-like, and you're useless underwater. Wow, thanks for the concern. <laughs> anyway, if I can jostle the device holding the chain, maybe I can get it to reel it in? Worth a shot. Just don't slip and fall. I can't haul you out. <laughs> Knuckles just completely rubbing it in his face, but he can't, uh, uh, swim. Sonic can swim? Name a game where Sonic can swim, because I haven't played one. Uh, okay, let's do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we just need to use Psych Loop. Okay. That's easy. And you basically just have Hermia attack it between the thrusters. Normally, it finally falls out and you can hit it. E. Screams in geometry. Yeah. Oh, I have a bomb. Um. <laughs> there was an attempt. Oh, there's coins down here. I think I'm gonna drown, but purple coins is worth. Oh god, I can't see. Oh no. Go off the wall, you dumbass. <laughs> he can swim in the Mario and Sonic Olympics games, but he's wearing a life vest. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. And get stuck on all the geometry. Okay, how do I throw this? I can drop it in my own face. That works. <laughs> Run to the cannon. There's a cannon? There's a cannon! I thought I just had to throw it. <laughs> like the way he's holding this, I fully expected him to just yeet it. <laughs> okay, and then we aim it and we scream in geometry. Oh. Is it Cobble Cannon? Cobble Cannon V3? Totally gonna work this time! I love that the uh, story. I think my favourite one of those though is the um uh the Cobble King. Cobble King is definitely my favourite of those stories, because like I don't know, just the thought of like a dude who's just like I'm gonna uh, try and get the cobbles to stop like attacking the town members. Oh, it turns out if you treat them better and like uh, give them what they want, they stop attacking the uh, uh, the uh, that the traders and stuff like that. And then it is just like, oh, uh, the villagers are actually being kind of crap. I'm just gonna go be the cobble king. <laughs> what the heck am I trying to shoot this thing? I tried shooting the eye. The eye doesn't work. Does it? Oh, we have to shoot the eye. I already shot the eye and it's just like, nope, do it better. 
Wait a second. Ramiel is just going to straight up pull the plug. Welcome back. Hoi hoi. Ramiel is pulling the plug while screaming geometrically. <laughs> Pull the plug, drain the tub. Happy sonic noises. Wait, was draining the oasis the best idea? Well, hey, you've revealed the way forward. That's what's important. <laughs> we Since destroyed the ecosystem. This heat. Oh well, race you to the next emerald. <laughs> Happy starry noises. <laughs> Okay, is there any more purple coins I missed? There is! We didn't get these ones, apparently. Is there anything down here? No? Uh, there's some extra chow. I still say there should be an imported lunar model so we can see the cobbled legs go new. <laughs> I might see what I can do. I have no idea how modding in models works with this game because so far the people who have already been doing modeling have been really experienced with like doing generations and colors and stuff which run on the same engine. Uh, so uh, they already know what they're doing. I don't. No. This is the wrong way. Or is it? No it is. Is this the wrong way? Is this forward? Is this new? Because I honestly can't tell. It feels new. Wait, what is that thing? Oh, is that a- there's a shark? <laughs> I'm going to ignore the shark because I saw something more impressive and interesting over here. What the heck are those giant rings, for starters? That looks like a thing. And also, over here. Uh, where is it? That thing over there, what is that in the background? Oh. Uh, sand shark? Boo, I know something that would about that land shark. <laughs> it looks like a satellite dish, yeah. Okay, we're fully powered again. Uh, oh, it is a satellite dish. But like ancient tech satellite dish. Does that mean they had space tech? How did these ancient tech people who somehow had advanced technology in the past have space tech? Oh, that was the wrong button. I'll take these chow, thank you very much. And no! You're my friend now. Lost satellite dishes are ancient technology now. Yeah, like, legit. <laughs> Obviously it was aliens. Wait, are they chows? Yeah, they are chows! <laughs> Oh damn it. Uh let me get up here. Please, camera, cooperate with me right now. I require uppies and you're not helping. Oh, don't wanna go that way. Other way. Nope, not that way. Uh That's gonna send me back. I don't wanna go on that. What the heck are these balls? Balls? Balls. <laughs> oh wait, do I need to like do this? No, I don't work. How do I balls? Uh why wait, why are you saying chows like that? Because that's how they're pronounced? Uh, well, really? It makes sense since Sonic had ge Generations fanbase. E. Uh, 
Those lasers like toggling me. Oh, okay. Uh, what's over here? Ah! You, are not ready. you have no maidens. <laughs> I must build additional pylons. Wait, no, go back. There were friends. We completely missed them. Where was the other ones? There was like three. Maybe I got them? I think I got them. And no bear. Not enough minerals. We require more Vespian gas. <laughs> Right, this is definitely going the wrong way, I think. Is it? I need to go there. But I'm now stuck here and I can't go back. So I guess we're going forwards. That's a lot of rings, I'll take that. Um, but how the hell do I get that Chaos Emerald? a lot of chow out here. Uh, you have come to the place where destiny is made, but why have you come unprepared? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I have a friend who uh, their mother uh, is a native Farsi speaker, so like uh, how was it? Which culture is that? I can't remember. Uh, Persian. And uh, they explained to me that uh, one of their greetings for like saying hello to someone basically translate to my friend you're here but why now <laughs> i don't know why i find that really funny <laughs> like i don't know I, I love like weird quirks of languages like that it's really cool <laughs> Like where something doesn't quite translate right, and then you shove it into like a, uh, like English, and it's like that's weird, <laughs> and probably not quite correct. Uh... Okay, so we have the red chaos emerald. Uh... Oh, an Arctic doctor! Thank you for the gift subs. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. An Arctic Doctor got a subscription from Zeph. Sorry, I got that mixed up because I misread it. Zeph, thank you for the gift subs! <laughs> Unfortunately, the sound alert didn't seem to play, but yay! Thank you, thank you! Enjoy your uh, lunar emotes, an Arctic, doc an Arctic Doctor, and. Yeah, just an Arctic Doctor. <laughs> I misread the, uh, they've gifted two subs on the channel, so you gifted two subs. I was just like, who is the other person I need to say, like, uh, congrats to? <laughs> uh, you're building an army of cuties? Heck yes I am. Uh, no more ads for me, I guess. Yeah! What are the hilarious thing? The amount of revenue I get from adverts is like, I'd say probably a tenth of a uh, subscription per month. <laughs> it's like nothing. <laughs> like, uh, Twitch is slowly improving their revenue and income and stuff like that, but there's, yeah. there's other services that technically do it better but don't have the viewer base behind it to really make it worth it to switch over. Yeah. I want to kill this sand shark. I think like killing the sand shark is probably going to be the last thing we'll do for today before I head off. So if you have a raid target you would like to do after the stream, feel free to go for it. But yeah, we're going to kill this shark first. Also, yeah, if you're not already and would like to be, uh, follow this link tree in order to become part of the uh, uh, Luna community. We have a Discord, we have a Twitter, we've got a YouTube, which has all my bots on, which I always upload. Uh, every single video I've ever uh, streamed is on there. Uh, there's also a link to my Kofi and my new Tumblr. I have a Tumblr now.
like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, there's no exclamation mark Tumblr, but it is on the uh, the link tree. Oh heck! Please don't shake me off. Okay, I did it. Oh no, I got Phantom Rush too late. What the heck is it doing? That was weird. Okay, I guess we're hanging on to it again. I'm a Tumblr girl now. I was on Tumblr like ages ago, but like I ended up switching off of it to like uh, other platforms a while back uh, when they did like the whole switch over to Yahoo. But it's gotten better now. They go follow me on Tumblr Weed. Not Tumble Weed. Jeez. The quick time events on this get quite intense on hard. I like it. Okay, let's blow this heckin' robot up. Uh, oh. Did it Tumblr nuke itself? Yeah, a long while ago it nuked itself, but it's been picking up a lot more. They fixed a bunch of the complaints people have, and they've been dunking on Twitter quite a lot. It's kind of hilarious. <laughs> and they're down. <laughs> what loots do I get? I'll take that, thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's make sure that goes in my inventory and save and we'll go back to title let's go find someone to go and raid uh, so we go to twitch.tv we have oh also i'm going to be streaming more of this game tomorrow so if you uh, want to see more of this <laughs> tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m pst or 5 uh, p.m gmt uh who is currently streaming Oh, Renelo is playing some Noita. Uh, raid. And uh, Renelo. Okay, so yeah, just say hi to Renelo for me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good luck, have fun, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Dead it. <laughs>